Hey boys and girls, like Skillfaggy here and welcome to another video and this time it will be Arma 3 so um, for those of you who don't know it, um, the Arma 3 Alpha just came out yesterday on March 5th and yeah I've been playing it for a little while now I think only two hours but yeah anyways <laughs> I've been playing it and you can see right here I'm playing the Wasteland mod so um, the popular mod Wasteland for Arma 2 already has been ported over to Arma 3 and I have to say it's really amazing, um, makes lots of fun, just also Arma 3 in general it's a lot less clunky. I mean there's still a little bit clunkiness and sluggishness kind of, but um, I think all in all it's a lot more like fluently and uh, the game plays a lot better. So you don't feel like you... Um, it just doesn't feel too glitchy I, I guess, like to, to like you were 200 pounds heavy or something. Well, anyways, um, um, like I said, um, first impression so far, really good. Um, I really like it. I think I could play it all night long. But um, yeah, um, there are some minor bugs and glitches, um, and I will mainly be talking about the um, the wasteland mod right here. But um, to start out with the normal Arma 3, um, at least from my PC, I'm getting weird FPS. Like you can see, I have fraps running to show the FPS, and they're between 15 and um, 25. And this is really bad. I mean, uh, my PC is actually pretty decent. I've got a AMD FX 8120 um, overclocked to 4 GHz and a Sapphire Radeon HD 7870. So, plus 8 gigs of RAM. So there should be not that much of a problem for the game. Um, the weird part is, no matter what settings I use, um, no matter restart or not, the, uh, the game... Yeah, I somehow missed this guy right there and he kills me. Yeah, um, no matter what, um, I'm always getting these frames on Ultra and on Low. So, I don't know what it is. Um, well, it's, it's still an Alpha, so um, this was going to be clear that there are some stuff and probably poor optimization. Um, what I really like though, to just keep talking a little bit about Arma 3 because before I will go <laughs> um, on about Wasteland, is that they, well for now they already have some solid things like you have a couple of single player missions, I think or five in, in total, and where you can just like play the game a little, get a little bit used to it and yeah just just get a feel for it and test out. Um, they also changed um, some stuff like for example the inventory, the gear is not on the G key anymore so if you press G you're throwing a nade so you'll probably end up um, team killing lots of friends if you're not um, binding the, the G key to something else because um, yeah, I changed quite a so, uh, some stuff. You're not um, having the <laughs> yeah for example right this, if you're scrolling to the menu and previously in Armor 2 you have to left click in order to um, access the menu, now you have to press the space bar. So um, no, more, no more shooting by accident if the menu fades, now you will be shooting um, actively <laughs> because you think you're um, using the menu. But yeah, now it's the space bar. Like I said, they've changed um, some of the settings, some of the controls and key bindings and stuff, so you'll just have to get used to it or maybe rebind them so that it's a little bit easier for you again. And yeah, um, again, I'm accidentally shooting this crappy quad bike. Yeah, but however, um, I really like that they have already included lots of stuff, um, just the normal single player and multiplayer stuff. Um, I think for a multiplayer you have something like capture the flag and team deathmatch, just I think also sec section control, sector control, something like that. So the normal basic um, multiplayer stuff. And they haven't done too much to the alpha yet, but they, by that I mean they have a pretty solid game by now. I mean it's a little glitchy and buggy, it's the alpha of course, but um, it feels pretty solid, <laughs> um, even better than Armor 2 personally I think, but yeah, um, they, they have a really good mod support and this is what I really like, so they have done like the basic stuff with a single multiplayer missions, but um, they are giving out lots of tools and stuff, so you can um, do your own mission files and um, just in general your own stuff, your own mods for the game, which is pretty amazing. I really love when um, developers are doing this, doing this, doing that, because um, it, it, it gives people so much more freedom and creativity and it makes the game so much richer in terms of what there is to it and it makes it just the overall game experience a lot better and yeah, I have to say I really like this game um, and yeah, 
So um, let's talk a little bit more about Wasteland um, since we were talking about the mods. Um, obviously, like I said, great tools. They <laughs> already ported it over from Armor 2 to Armor 3 and Wasteland is a great mod. Um, well, it's not actually a mod, it's more of a mission, I guess. But, um, well, anyways, they've ported it over to the new map, um, which is called Stratus, I guess, and it's probably somewhere in Greece or so. Uh, I'm not completely sure. But yeah, it um, looks really, really good. Um, right here, they also in you see the um, new inventory system, so it's a little bit different than before. And uh, specifically in Wasteland, there are some problems with um, getting the gear out of the vehicles, so... Um, it, I got two tips for you <laughs> for how this can work. Um, first of all, you can just drive around the vehicle a little bit, and after that, you normally be a you should be able to access this, exit the access. Sorry, guys, the gear like I'm doing right here. You can just drag and drop it or right click on it, and it will then flip to depending on what you're clicking on to your um, kind of gear thing or back to the crate, which is the vehicle in this case. And another thing would be just to take it, the things out of the vehicle on the ground and then pick it up from the floor. This um, actually works too. And yeah, right here I've found a weapon finally. Um, like I said, the game is still in alpha and the mod um, just has been poured over, so there are even more bugs and glitches and stuff. So um, it's a little bit hard to play. The game occasionally crashes. Um, but it happened to me only once while playing Wasteland so far, which will come up at the end of the video, <laughs> which was kind of annoying. But yeah, they changed quite some stuff. Um, like I said, it plays a lot more fluently. It's not as clunky as, as it used to be. Um, I also think that the vehicles, um, for example, the quad bike right here, they drive a lot better. So you've seen me driving it like, I don't know, five minutes ago or something. And you saw that they they really changed up the physics a little bit, so um, I really had a feel like my my vehicle was properly influenced by stuff like the like Newton's laws or something. Um, like um, you guys know I'm German, so um, Newton's Gesetz in Deutsch. I don't know. Well, whatever. Um, <laughs> just keep on talking. And yeah, another really cool thing uh, or feature would be. Um, you know that you previously had like only I don't know, especially if you're playing Daisy. Um, I think I think most people came to Armor Two through Daisy, so I'm probably going to just make some references on the way. But if you're going off road, it really sucked because I don't know on the street you were able to drive 100 kilometers per hour, and then you go off road and you only have like 20 or something, and you're like, this is bullshit. I mean, <laughs> why am I driving so slow? And they fixed it too, so you're able to drive a lot faster now off-road and this is really amazing um, right here you can see me spotting or just like um, taking a look at those guys they have a little convoy and there are also lots of armored vehicles like um, with the machine guns on them and they also drive a lot better than what we've seen in armor 2 so yeah I'm <laughs> as you probably could tell by the commentary I'm really really excited about armor 3 um, for some more um, information, w right now there's the alpha. I think I also have some alpha light keys. I'm not sure though. If I have, I will do some giveaway stuff so you guys can play with me because playing alone <laughs> really sucks a little bit because um, there are constantly groups of four or five guys and I am just like... I may be able to take out two but then it's over. Yeah, so... Um, if I get some keys, I will totally give them away to my subscribers, so you guys, so you can play with me, that would be really amazing. And again, I'm really excited for this game. The beta will be coming out somewhere in summer, and the game is supposed to be, so the full game, the fully complete game is, sub is supposed to be released in by the end of the year. So I probably will assume around November or Christmas or something, so that I can bump up the sales a little. And yeah, I think... Um, Armor is really a great game. Um, like I said, myself, I haven't been playing too much Armor 2, just DayZ, because it was kind of in my game break when it has its, its like prime time. But I played Operation Flashpoint and stuff, so I am really looking forward to this game. It's a lot of fun playing. Right here, you can see it crashed. So um, I think it's pretty much all. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty much all for now. So I hope you enjoyed the commentary and like Skillfaker out.